Mark is your trying to brainwash you guys into all crap and bringing you the truth and bringing you the truth that matters and taking America virtual brain virtual reality and greater America to save the wallets, minds, and values of American citizens in 2024 the future fun, great the propaganda work in the game and gaming against propaganda, help our flat screeners out, help them recover, help them learn to love themselves in the country. Check it out, check out the gameplay. And check out my 20 minute video white fantasy. I'm in for it. 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 I'm in for some opinion and storytelling to try to make bringing you virtual reality more fun and also i gotta ask people i can't take you virtual if i don't ask sorry we're in the dark and on the move on the fun move and a lot of snow so we're going to the pizza spot we got like one place we can go to now in 2024. We'll talk about that, but we're walking there because the economy is so good. I feel like the pizza guy doesn't need a tip because he he's just doing too good. He doesn't need it, so I'm walking there. Do him a favor. I don't want to make him do too good, too young. He goes, gets an ego, you know what I mean? Guys, I don't even want to tip the driver in 2024 because I need the extra 25 cents to do laundry. Nah, nah. That's the other thing is I don't want to tip. It's because I can't, I, I'm not going to give like a, sh like a shit tip. So like if I do, if I do order delivery, which I do, I still do once in a while. It's very rare. When I do, I try to give a decent tip. And that's the other thing is I like, so it's, you know, I want to save the money. So I'm walking. But anyway, in 2024, in 2024, you gotta save every penny. I can't afford reality, and that's why I stay safe and I save my wallet inside virtual reality. It's the therapy that greater America needs. Guys, it's crazy out there in the country. It's crazy. If you're living in one of the cities, it's crazy in New York City. The white game is coming in to save your mind, save your values, take you virtual, give you new, fun, at home, the smack of home entertainment. I had hunched over last night. I put him in the virtual reality headset, the PSVR 2, guys. That's the best one. It's the only one he'll do. Come on. Put him in the PSVR 2, the way the controllers vibrate. He said he won't have anything else. If they don't got the PSVR 2 controllers, he don't want it. Like, comment, subscribe. Help me bring virtual reality to greater America and save the country one gamer at a time. That's it. Anyway, so they uh, he put him in there, he's smoking the virtual reality headset all night, he loves it, he's a gamer now, he's been calling me all day, blowing my phone up. Anyway, we're going into virtual reality, guys, check it out, it's not all talk, the white game, we're putting together some cinematic gameplay for you. I got a uh, gamer rate, alpha gamer rate, the Dark Souls dance, and I got white gamer save. Reality is overpriced and reality is overrated. Guys, it's crazy expensive and overpriced to go buy in reality. I also got Green Army Men 2024 coming out. It's gonna be this game, Crossfire, but I really did the music slow down so you can see the effects and stuff like that. And I made it fun, I made it entertaining to really communicate what it's like to be inside the headset inside the action. This game I'm playing right here, the one for Military Men, is military action game. Um, don't listen to the Hardcore Market. I got the information on this game. It is incredible. I'm really looking forward to that one. Then we're doing some numbers 2024 to refund it to the virtual reality. 2024, it's also unsafe. It's also unclean. That's why we're going into virtual reality where it's polished. And fun. By the way, virtual reality is for gaming, not doing work. Apple Vision Pro, it's too much money, it's too expensive, it's too clown town. Virtual reality is for escaping reality and gaming. Um, and Joe Biden reality, you gotta walk to the freaking pizza place. I don't even have a car to drive there, guys, by the way. Uh, yeah, well. Alright, I, yeah, I'm putting up a, uh, I'm gonna make another one. I had a, I had a video where I... Let's go with, I put 
Joe Biden on blast. Joe Biden's virtual reality. On my virtual reality, you're venting against the economy of video. The Pavlov tactical military shooter. The headset's the new gang set, boys. I'm taking you virtual. I'm taking you out. Go check it out. It's a really good game. Healthy community, I made it for the parents. Well, actually, I'm sorry, I had to take it down because it's the old channel. I gotta make a new one. I also refunded police inside virtual reality for future fun. Cops and robbers 2024 on the Crisis Brigade 2 action game, which is only 15 bucks. Um, I gotta make a new one of those too. I gotta redo a couple videos. I also went in virtually, I took down the Chinese spy balloon before it surveyed Greater America in the Ultra Wings 2 pilot game. This stuff's for adults, guys. You go in virtual reality, you get the therapy that you need. I'll remake the videos, I'll upload them. Check out Alpha Gamer Rage, Dark Souls Dance, and White Gamer Save. Reality's overrated and reality's overpriced. That's why we're going into virtual reality. Check it out. Um, this is clown reality out there, people. That's why we're going into virtual reality. I'm linking my white gamer save video at the end. It's 20 minutes of why virtual reality is the track of home entertainment. I remembered what I was going to say. There's only one pizza spot that I have left to go to. You know, all the mom and pop spots? Yeah, they're all gone. By the way, New York City is... Every business is clown reality. They're all lying. They shut down a lot of the bathrooms and like the public libraries and stuff, which is like they don't have any in the subway. On my job, I traveled the New York City subway system all day, um, going to visit different uh, different places around the city or different people around the city. I got to go see a bunch of important people around the city. You know what I mean, people. And then, um, so yeah, I'm traveling the subway. There's no bathrooms anywhere. They have like Grand Central, Penn Station, the major ones, but not even like 125th Street or anyway. All the fast food places since the, uh, since the, uh, frying pan. And, and, you know what I mean? I don't know if we can say it yet. I still don't know if we can say it on here. And then, uh. Yeah, so they never, like... They put an out-of-order sign on the bathroom, and they just tell you it's out of order, even though it's, like, I mean, I'm sure one or two of them are, but not all of them. Or they said, it's just that it's, dude, there's, like, no regulations against, like, letting customers use the bathroom. They burn they two signals, and they shut everything down. Um, so yeah, and then we only got one pizza spot to go to, legitimately, because everything else is one of those, like, food swap. Like, there's only one place that I can go to for long distance. I think that's not close, but you'll get like an extra large sauce and pepperoni pizza for like 20 bucks. It's awesome. Um, I ain't going to the other places. I'm coming to this place. I'm going to the extra. It's gonna help. If you need proof that virtual reality gaming is the smack of home entertainment then let me tell you my brain is so fried on virtual reality hardcore drug use that i didn't even know for 30 minutes that my headphones my new sony pulse elite headphones were on the wrong way and i know that people have put them on the wrong way because they look like they might go that way and also the older ones have the swoosh going in that direction i knew they go the other way i knew how to wear them i just didn't know I put them on the wrong way. By the way, I was in here rocking out to some Royal Blood and some Queens of the Stone Age. The Pulse Elite headphones, you can get the music going in there. They put the whole feature from Gran Turismo 7 right in the headset. It's awesome. It really adds. Virtual reality is now even more therapeutic. The headphones are 150 and they're awesome. Guys, don't let the price tags fool you. 150 in 2024 is nothing for a quality piece of home entertainment technology. I got pricing in the White Gamer Save video. Go check it out. This stuff is awesome. And what you get for the money is incredible with Sony Gaming Tech. I'll walk next to Anyway, so guys, we're on here. This is like, I guess this is going to end up on a gaming and ranting video. We're, we're trying different stuff. 
coming in, polished productions. This might not be as polished as the other videos, but I got a pretty polished fight against the Tormented Gladiator in the Legendary Tales 2 game. That's the video I did, Alpha Gamer Rage. Dark Souls Dance. Dark, if you're not a gamer, you're not going to know what Dark Souls Dance is. I titled it that because even though it's a promo for new people, I figured, like, guys that game would see it and maybe want to get it out and help me get it out. So I, I, it's the virtual reality version, kind of, is the moniker of uh, uh, a popular flat screen game, Dark Souls. So it's actually pretty accurate the more I play the virtual reality game. So I felt okay using the title called the Dark Souls Dance. I'm fighting a big skeleton in there doing alpha nerd. That's why I think I can bring virtual reality to greater America. I don't know if it's going to be me. I think America can and needs to be taken virtual, especially not just because of the smack of home entertainment, more for therapy. I think America and her people need new therapy in 2024 in their mind, their wallet, and their values. Check out a clown reality, save your wallet. I'm making video games cool in 2024. Bringing virtual reality to greater America. As the therapy that we all need. Gaming is not for nerds, it's for your wallet. I'm Alpha, I still play nerd once in a while and I love it. Hunter loves it. He's addicted, he's a gamer. <laughs> And what better way to break the propaganda market than with virtual alpha gaming, people. So, um, yeah. I know that, uh, that's it. Yeah, we're ranting, we're doing ranting and gaming, and this ended up being about the pizza spot. There's only one good pizza spot, there's only one good deli. When I say that, I, I could be a little hyperbolic. I'm not being hyperbolic. I got one pizza place I go to and one sandwich spot that's still like a reasonable price and good quality. And of course, they're both family owned. Come on. Anyway. Yeah, and we're also taking down, uh, speaking of mom and pop, uh, white gamer poppy over here is taking, that, taking down the corporate, coming after the corporate game and IGN, Kotaku. I'm only one guy, so I'm really only talking about a couple of virtuality games, but... I'm upset at the hardcore gamers. They killing the PSVR 2, IGN, Kotaku, the corporate sludge. They're pushing out the propaganda that the Sony PlayStation virtual reality headset 2 is dead. And it's not getting supported. It's all propaganda, guys. I'm coming in. I'm saving virtual reality. I'm saving Sony PlayStation virtual reality headset, too. And I'm making video games cool in 2024. This stuff is not for nerds. It's for your wallet. Joe Biden reality is way overpriced, way too unclean, and way too unsafe. Virtual reality not only saves your wallet, it can save your life. It's safe, fun, therapeutic, fun at home in 2024 virtual reality gaming is good for therapy family therapy marriage therapy couple therapy sibling therapy even if you're older check out the house for gameplay hunter loves it he's a game it's crap if you want to role play if you want to control content at home virtual reality is the answer and also the developers care about your wallet and your fun at home they're giving this video game and graphics update at the end of the month Uh, I want people to start getting the truth from real Americans again. I want you guys checking out real Americans, real virtual reality creators, not the corporate sludge, not IGN, not Kotaku. They're garbage. They're trying to brainwash you guys. It's all trash. We're bringing you the truth. We're bringing you the news that matters. We're taking 
America virtual, bring a virtual reality to greater America, to save the wallets, minds, and values of American citizens in 2024 with future fun, break the propaganda market game and gamers against propaganda. Look at how bootleg this is, the economy. I'm 37, I'm carrying a pizza like this. Like a, and I got a two liter underneath my arm, underneath this from the 7-Eleven. But I do buy my soda at 7-Eleven. How America is that, people? Guys, I'm really worried that I might not. I got a bad feeling about being in New York City, riding the subways all day, in an enclosed space with all the crazy people. I was, I had an assault, which I got arrested after. We'll talk about that eventually in New York City about a year, year and a half ago. It was awesome. I won. I was angry that day. I can't lie, baby. And I'm not even, I'm not even that type of guy. I, I have no violent bone in my body. I take people down in virtual reality for virtual reality or event. Kind of new. I'm mad at the politicians. I've never been this mad at the politicians. Not only am I mad at the politicians, I'm mad at half of the citizens walking around who are brainwashed selling our country out. They don't care. Guys, I have a city level job in New York. I don't have a car payment. I have no debt. I'm not married. I can't afford to get married. I can't afford to have a kid. Um, and I can't even afford to live in the city. By the way, they're given on taxpayer money people money to live in the city that's like their rent is more than I take home a month so that they, when they evaluate what the people need for benefits to live in New York comfortably on taxpayer dollars it's their evaluation is these people the cost of living for them must be more because they also they don't pay me that much a city adjacent job doesn't pay me nearly that much. They're paying more in these people's rent than I take home working for them. Guys, America's fallen. Don't listen to the propaganda with the great white replacement theory. Guys, they're calling it that so they can say it's a conspiracy theory because they put the great white thing in there so they want to say all the white people are paranoid. It's got nothing to do about being white. It's got to be to be middle class. You're struggling if you're feeling trapped. They're taking from you, they're taking from you, they're taking from you, and they ain't giving you nothing. And you know they ain't giving it to the people that need it out there, guys. Hiding leaks, hiding the propaganda. Check out a clown. Go buy the reality, you save your wallet, you save your values, and maybe even your life inside virtual reality. This pizza I was walking home with, and when I say I got a bad feeling, I had a guy come up to me and he was looking, he's like, he came up to me and you just, I was walking down the street and you just know what the type of guy that you don't want at night walking or he's not really walking. He's kind of stumbling, hanging out, which makes it even worse. Anyway, he came up to me and got all close. He was talking to me, asking where I, if I knew where the nearest train station was, but it looked like he was just trying to come over and talk to me and he looked at me like a piece of meat. Then he looked at the pizza, then he stood like really close. He put his like chest up against the pizza box. And uh, I was really nice to him. I gave him the directions and he walked off. But it was, just, I got that feeling, man. Like he decided not to. But he would, he was thinking about doing it before. I don't know. I didn't even do anything that alpha, really. I didn't even really try to scare him off. So I don't know. If he games, boys, he games flat screen. He doesn't game virtual. Anyway, boys, that's it. I'm going in to eat food. It took me 19 hours to get dinner tonight. Um, anyway, if you tie it to Joe Biden reality, you tie it all the propaganda, you want to control content at home, you check out the clown reality. You go into virtual reality. You don't need to be a gamer like me. This stuff is therapeutic. Even 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, even just once a month inside the headset. Inside the action. Can be therapeutic. There's games for everybody. Plus five minutes of VR therapy in the morning might be what you need to change your life.
didn't open a computer until I started this YouTube channel six weeks ago and I can do it. The PC stuff is too expensive, it's too complicated. And if you've already played virtual reality, you played a Quest 2, or even if you've already played a Quest 3 a little bit, uh, I haven't played it myself. Anyway, we'll get into that stuff. The PlayStation VR 2 though, even if you played the stuff at a science center even just five years ago, it's different now. The technology's there. I got the tactical strategic military shooters. I got games for the family. We got Pup Puck Golf. I play a little Pup Puck Golf when I'm stressed out, boys. Come on. We got driving, no gas money, and virtual reality. No monthly payments on the headset. You own the hardware. No repaying greens fees when you go to walk about mini golf again. No incompetent service out there in the public. Check out virtual reality. We're going to talk about it. I just want to show you my face real quick. It's real quick. Guys, gaming's not for nerds. Let me take off the glasses. I'm used to doing videos for white people over here. Especially gaming virtual, boys. When you game virtual, you game alpha. Check it out, especially amongst guys who are flat screeners and they want a headset. I'm the guy that's going to get your parents to get you a headset, get you into virtual reality. I'm going to get your parents gaming. That's the whole point. Guys, it's me. I'm the guy. We're finally doing it. I'm the guy. 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 I'm the guy